of the DaVinci Resolve 17 tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to key out green screen videos inside the edit tab using the 3D keyer plugin. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. Also follow my social media accounts to see some awesome behind the scenes content or projects that I'm working on. In the previous versions of DaVinci Resolve to chroma key green screen footage, there were only really two ways you could do it. You could go into the color tab and select the color you wanted to key, or you could go into the fusion tab and use the keys in there to do advanced visual effects compositing with nodes. But in the new version of DaVinci Resolve 17, you can now do green screen chroma keying inside the edit tab. And this is perfect for anyone who may be new to Resolve or just wants to do quick green screen or blue screen keying without having to navigate the fusion tab. Anyway, let's open up DaVinci Resolve 17. Okay, so I've opened up DaVinci Resolve 17 and I've imported my clips that I want to use. I'm just going to find the clip that I want to use. I'm going to use this clip here. So I'm just going to double click. Let's preview that. And let's select our in and out point. So I want the clip to start from about here. And I want it to end about here. So I'm just going to drag the video only into our timeline and put it to video one. I might actually bring this up to video two and I'm just going to get our background footage and I'm just going to double click that. You know what? I might just click and drag it just into video layer one, just so it's right underneath our green screen footage. And now let's get into the keying part. So we want to go to the top here and we want to go to our effects library, make sure that's selected. And we want to go down to open effects and we want to scroll down to resolve FX key. And we want to choose the 3D keyer and we're going to click and drag it on top of our footage. And once we've done that, we'll just select our clip and make sure we're in the inspector window and we'll go over to effects. And when we open it up, we're going to see our 3D here and then we'll go down to controls and we want to make sure that our eyedropper tool is on this first option here. And we're just going to, before we click and drag, because you're not going to see anything, we're going to go over here and by default, it's in transform. We will actually want to go down to open effects overlay. We'll just check that. And then now we'll click and drag and we'll see a blue line. And you're basically telling the 3D Kia plugin that this is the shade of green that we want to select. So you can see that our clip, we've got a few different shades of green. So we've got like light to dark to light again. So we're just telling our software that that is what's happening. And right off the bat, it's pretty good the key, but we can fine tune it and obviously make it much better. So I'm just going to zoom in. And I'm going to scroll down and we can see a little bit of the stool is left. So I'm actually going to disable video track one just so we can see it a little bit better. And we can see a bit more green. Once we've done our first option, we can actually add more blue lines to help with the key to tell the software that this is green. So once we've done our first one, we're just going to click to this far right where it says add it'll have like a plus button next to an eyedropper icon. Make some more lines. And you can see when I click and drag, you can see there are more bits of green that are being erased. And that's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that, but it's not complete. It's not fully removed the green. So let's go down and we're gonna to go to output. And we're gonna change the output from final composite to alpha highlight black and white. So generally when you are doing a key and you um, go to the black and white, you want to make sure that your actor is completely white and the background is completely black. So we can still see a little bit of white in the black, a little bit of gray. We can just keep adding more to get rid of it. And that's looking pretty good. And we can even control it even further. So we've got this top half looking nice and clean. But this bottom half here, you can see a little bit of gray and we want that to be a solid white. So let's go over to matte finesse. And let's just go to the drop down menu and let's just start adjusting different parameters. So I'm just gonna go down here. Um, I'm gonna deselect show paths just so we can see the image clearer. And let's just 
change the denoise. Let's just bring that up a little bit and then we'll clean the, the black. So you can see that this part is starting to disappear when I do clean black. So let's just crunch that a bit more. Let's go to clean white. And when we clean white, you can see up here, we can see that it's starting to make our character a bit wider, but it's also making the um, outside blurry. We don't really want that because you'll see a bit of the green show. So we don't want that to be too blurry. So let's just find a good point about there. Let's just bring the black back a bit. Um, let's adjust the in out ratio and that will help bring out our key. So I'm just going to crunch it a bit more and let's just bring down the white clip. So it's starting to fill in a little bit more over here. It's making it a bit more solid. That's looking really good there. Okay, so that's actually looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. I'm just going to go to fit and I'm just, and I'm just going to go down to our output and we're going to change that back to final composite. Okay, so I'm fairly happy with this, but if you look closely at the clip, you can see that there's a little bit of green spill and that's a really easy fix. So let's just turn video layer on just so we can see our final clip. So let's scroll back up to the top and we're just going to make sure we select despill and you can see that it shifts the color a bit. So now our actor is looking nice and clean. There's no green spill. But then now when we play the clip back, we've got him falling through some neon triangles. All right, so I'm happy with the clip here. It's looking really nice, but we can do a little bit more to make the image blend in with the background. So we can select these two images and we can right click and we can do a new compound clip and I'm just gonna leave it as compound clip one. And what that's going to do is it's going to merge our two layers, our green screen footage with the background footage and it's gonna turn it into one layer and we can add some effects on top of it to help blend the two images together to make it look like that it's interacting with the environment and looks like that it's a part of the environment. So let's just scroll down to glow and we're just gonna drag it onto our clip and we're just going to adjust the shine threshold. Maybe not too shiny. Uh, let's just adjust the spread. And there we go. So now we've just added a little bit of a glow to our clip just so it helps blend these two images together just so we have a bit of these neon lights glowing and going a bit over um, our character's face and arms and stuff like that just so it blends the image a bit better you can also add some camera shake and other stuff if you want to so i might just quickly do that let's just scroll down to camera shake and let's just throw it onto our clip and now we've got some crazy sort of camera movement. You don't have to do this technique. This is just like a little bit of an optional thing that you can do to help blend your footage in. But that's how you key out green screen footage using the 3D keyer inside the edit tab inside of DaVinci Resolve. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. And I'll see you guys next time.